Are you running? Are you running? Yes. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, Cornells. <laughs> you see you again. Very good, thanks. Uh, mate. Just a um, little bit more about yourself. Um, well, I'm, I'm General Manager of Sales and Marketing at uh, Fisher & Paykel in New Zealand. Um, I, I suppose I'm interested more so in this project because I come from a background of uh, having been in the agency world for quite a while. But um, Fisher & Paykel at the moment is a company now uh, $1.3 billion. Um, started in very humble roots 70 years ago in New Zealand and now really out around the globe. Um, factories and, uh, and operating units uh, in the, in throughout the world. We're the smallest licensed, uh, sorry, listed appliance manufacturer in the world, but one of the most innovative, which of course we're pretty proud. Brilliant. Mm. Brilliant. That's my blue. Yeah, perfect. And then you attended the like, referral marketing course that we organized. Yeah, which was great. Can you describe it in three words for yourself? Um, three words. How do you get an advertising man to speak in it's only three uh, words? Um, try. <laughs> uh, what I loved about it, mate, was it was, it was engaging. You know, you, you go along, you think you know what referral marketing is about, or word of mouth, or the different tools, you know, um, and viral marketing, all the words we'd heard. But really what you guys did was you made it engaging, mm -hmm. and you stayed right in the subject. Um, you know, I thought it was thoughtful yeah. because these things can be—you can go once over lightly with these things, and they don't have any depth. But you guys, with that process and so on, have got a real depth to it, and finally it was valuable. I mean, the last thing says, "Look, I walked away with something I can use." There's a lot of things you go to, mm -hmm. and you think, "Yeah, it's great," but you know, I didn't get a lot out of it. And um, what was your main reason why you, why you went to onto the course? Um, as, your, as your challenge for you. Yeah, challenge it's the Scotsman in me. Okay. Uh, it was that. Um, <laughs> All our budgets are under pressure. You know, yeah. we're doing we're doing well globally. The fundamentals are good, but I think like every you know fixed um, uh, you know marketing company, the budgets are under challenge. Mainstream media for an awful lot of people, you know, and I know talking to the agencies, mainstream media this year, TV and so on, is going to be a luxury for a lot of brands that have that have been able to afford being there in the past. So we've got to find more cost-effective ways and probably more clever ways because I think in the in the recession, um, we're all been sort of possum in the headlights. We've we've gone. Let's not spend too much money, let's stop spending. We don't really know why, but we've got to find a way of getting alongside people and to your point of your yeah. course, having conversations that allows them to, uh, to get behind and trust brands again. And, and, and just looking at, um, what did you know before you attended the Word Find like referral marketing course? Mm. What did you know about referral marketing? Well, I probably had all the wrong understandings. Or, or there'd been other, you know, we started with viral marketing and we heard that, but that was kind of more electronically web-based. Um, and there's been word of mouth, and it's been around for years. I mean, you know, yeah. before you had brands, right back in you know, hundreds BC, people said, "Have you tried that new bread? Have you seen that new cheese?" That that's back in the medieval times and so on, or you know, before that, Roman times. People talked about things, and that's how words spread. And then they got branding, as craftsmen wanted to brand their products. So it's not new. Mm. So you have all these preconceptions, but I, I, harnessing it was the key, mm, which I just didn't think you could do that. So what was the um, like now like, no, looking backwards? Um, this is the back. before and after. Before and after. Like, right the time you yeah, you go. It was a great weight loss program. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, yeah, that was great. Because, well, it was. It was exactly that process. I mean, what you guys said is we found a way to structure with the Village Square. We found a way to structure the process that people go through and how you can maximise that. And you've got a thing where you kind of ask us to do an audit and then to review that, to create some answers and then implement those. And that sort of four-stage idea, I think, was, was yeah. gave us some structure. Which these things don't often have. There's a lot of talk, a lot of hot air, but this was structure. And in the end of the course, you actually walk away with, um, like, we've got the, oh, the Bible, the, the Bible, oh, the, the Bible. manual, the workbook. And um, in the back of the workbook, there's, an, there's an actually like an action plan you yeah, define. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just looking now, a couple of weeks after the course, mm. uh, anything that you've actioned from that? Yeah, we've taken one of our one of our niche products. Um, we the, the one we love, the, the dish drawer mm -hmm. um, behind you. Um, Ta da! My able assistant Cornelis. <laughs> the gorgeous dish drawer, <laughs> yes. a really unique product that we developed ten years ago. We sold a million of them, and um, we we think it's brilliant. If people have one, they rave about it. Um, if they don't know it, um, they don't really they're blissfully unaware for their lives. And we'd love we'd love to have uh, more promoters, more lovers of our of our product. We think it's that good. So. That's going to be our project, um, is to institute that and try and find a way that we get you know, committed users to really uh, stand for the product and talk to other people about it. Now, it's hard because it's a high-ticket item. Mm -hmm. you know, this is, these sorts of things are great, and you hear a lot of stuff about viral. It's great for Coke, and it's great for the Vodafones, and, and they are brilliant. They do a great job with it. You know, high turnover, exciting. There's a lot of media content around them. This is a white box, or mm -hmm. a silver box in this case, yeah. in your home. That's a really hard task, but we think you know, the tools you've given us will allow us to do that. 
And um, why would you recommend a pro marketing course to well, anyone? Well, because we've got so much out of it, you know. I think that's the thing is that um, just the times we're in, the unprecedented times, it's a really tough recessionary time. You've got to find some other ways. You've got to zig when others are zagging. Um, it's an old one, but it's true, you know. And the, the, in these times, the most, the lowest form of communication will be conversation. Mm -hmm. And you've said, okay, let's go to that base um, communication level and, and start understanding how to use it. And for us, it's a, it's a nice way to start taking small steps. But, in, but I reckon when we come back out into the sunlight after the recession, there's, there's some really good things that you can give scope to and scale to later in life. And what's your most memorable moment of the ESO course? Oh, <laughs> some of those, some of those great, great sort of games and things we did. I mean, it sounds silly, but that, you know, what you were sparking was basic human instinct about um, laughter or, or, or sharing or those sorts of things. And they were all aimed at actually understanding that very base primal consumer emotion of telling someone about something. You know, they were just fun games and, and, and it, it got you out of your... The hardest thing you have um, is, is getting out of your work day and taking all that off and, and putting yourself into a word of mouth situation. So they were great from doing that. They were fun. Perfect. And the chocolate was good. Ah, great. Yeah. Any more uh, belly buttons you've seen after the... Uh... Well, anyway, I ain't popping out. Exactly. Anyway, um, that's for later. That's for later. Yeah. If you don't go, you won't find out. No. Do you want to find out? Exactly. That's a big question. Um, thank you very, very much. Pleasure. No, thank you, because I think we've got something really different, something a bit breakthrough in this environment. Cool. Great.